What is up everyone? I'm coming to you straight from my trailer. Yes, I know it's weird. I live in a trailer. I'm a trailer dude. For those of you that don't know, I've lived in a trailer for the past three years of you know my college student athlete life. Um, and some of you are thinking like, well that's kind of weird, like you live in a trailer, but I'm going to let you guys on a little secret. It's one of the smartest things that I've ever done in my life. Um, and a lot of you guys are wondering, well, how do you have a trailer in the middle of Vancouver, you know, one of the, you know, biggest metro cities in Canada? Um, well, not biggest metro city, but still, it's a big city. Where do you park a trailer? There's no trailer parks in Vancouver. Fun fact, I'm actually about five feet away from a house where I actually used to live in previous to this. A um, bunch of my football teammates, football buddies, uh, about 10 guys live in that house. Um, and then I saw, you know, there was this big, long kind of driveway. And, you know, I had helped my dad, you know, park the trailer before at a driveway back in California. And, you know, I've obviously having a trailer in the camp before. So I kind of sized up the driveway um, and just kind of looked at it. I was like, hey, you know what? I think I could maybe fit the trailer here. Um, and then I told my dad and I was like, hey, what do you think? Like why don't we put the trailer here and see what we could do here and you know we did it he's like hey, well we didn't do it right away he was he was kind of skeptical about it first but we kind of he looked at it he's like you know what that'd be a good idea plus I mean let me give you guys a little rundown on how much it lives in how much it costs to live in Vancouver I mean if you want something at least semi-decent I mean your average living cost is gonna be upwards of a thousand dollars if you want something nice where you're not like crammed packed with a bunch of people, the house is next door, it's packed in there. But it's awesome, don't get me wrong, I love living with um, my teammates, it's an amazing thing. But everyone needs their privacy, right? We all need our, you know, our place where we can retreat at the end of the day, so that's why I got the trailer. You know, my first year in residence in college, I was paying like, oh my goodness, like 1200 a month to live in student housing, $1,200? That's crazy. Um, and that robbed my bank and you know eventually I was like I think I need to you know figure something out so that's when I was like okay I'll move into this house with a bunch of my friends it kind of knocked uh, kind of just about just uh, over in half of what I was paying before it was probably more like six uh, low 600 high 500 to live inside the house um, and I was like okay that's that's good and then you know I was I was fine with that I was fine with paying you know over five hundred dollars under six hundred dollars um, in rent but when I saw this driveway I was like oh my goodness gold mine let's do it so I told my dad about it we drove the trailer up here pulled it in here it's and mind you the driveway is not just your typical oh yeah we can easily get the trailer in here it was a pretty tough deal to get in here so I'll show you guys that um, and the exterior interior all that great stuff with the trailer um, but yeah we brought it here parked it on the driveway um, and then from there it was just kind of whatever wh what I did with it you know I plug I got electricity in here as you can see we got the lights lights all that good stuff um, I got a space heater as well I got regular furnace propane the gas stove don't worry we're gonna get to all that but you know I plugged it in electricity uh, plugged in uh, to the water, I have running water in here. Um, and then also, like I said, the house is literally, I could, if I could reach my hand, there's a window right here, out this window, I could probably touch the touch the um, house with my hand. So, there's a window right up there and the internet box is also right there as well. So guess what? We've got about a 10 foot long uh, ethernet cable, ran it through that window, through my window, and boom, I got Wi-Fi. So yeah, this trailer was, you know, perfect thing perfect setup I'm paying you know just around uh, I think I've paid just around three hundred dollars give or take uh, in the past couple years a month three hundred dollars a month that's awesome stuff right there especially as a college student you know as college students we're all struggling uh, financially don't get me wrong like we all got our problems um, but financial problems is one of the biggest things as a college student especially student athlete um, so you know, this was kind of the thing that I found that helped me save a lot of money. So, you know, I moved in here, been living in here for three years, like I said before, and it's just been awesome. You know, 
yeah, I still go inside the house and hang out with all my friends, you know, that's that's kind of the added benefit of this. Um, but at the end of the day, when I'm just, you know, feeling like coming in and settling in, just relaxing, being calm, meditating, whatever you want, uh, so I could just come in here and just chillax all to myself um, and then have the luxury of going inside and, you know, hanging out with my friends whenever I wanted to. So uh, that's been kind of, you know, my crazy, I guess, trailer life. Um, not that it's been like anything different. I, I don't feel any different living in a trailer, to be honest. It feels just like normal. Like, yeah, you've got, it's like, in retrospect, it's a tin can. Um, but, you know, I felt pretty, pretty normal. And life hasn't really changed. It's just, I feel like it's my own bedroom. Um, and I just get the luxury of having my bathroom right down, my stove right here, my sink, all that type of stuff right next to my bed. And, you know, it's only a few steps away. So, um, that's just been my little cool thing. So now, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit around the trailer. Right here, we got my stove, and what? You mean I have an oven too? Yep, I can bake in here, I can do it all. I got the good old microwave, yes sir. Um, we, got the, we got the fan, oh! Just in case it gets a little smoky. Um, and then, yes, what's a trailer without, you know, a radio and a good old speaker? So we could bump some tunes in here. Let's see, what do we got on right now? Let's see, come on. Okay, okay. But yeah, so we got the radio there. Anyways, moving on, we got my freezer. I'm not gonna open it because there's nothing in there. My fridge, good old cabinets right here where I would keep all my food and good stuff. Um, these cabinets down here is like silverware, um, plates, cups, coffee, all that good stuff. Uh, this is where my TV used to be. Now I just put my clothes there. Um, and then right here, the Royal Suite. My bed isn't made, sorry guys. Yeah, I guess that tells you a bit about how I start my mornings. I usually make my bed, but this bed is the hardest bed to make. Okay, imagine, you know, your regular bed, you can get on all four corners of it, right? You can get in each little position to make it easier to make the bed. But guess what? I have to jump up there and then make the bed. Do you know how hard it is to jump on a bed like this and try to put everything down here? Mind you, I can't stand up on the bed. It's about that high from my head. So that's probably one of the hardest things about living in a trailer is making your bed in the morning, which is impossible. Especially in this little, you know, that's probably only about like a three foot, to, mm, three foot clearance right there. So. But yeah, this is my awesome bed. I think it's about a, a queen size. So I get a sprawl out of it. It's nice, it's cozy. Um, it gets pretty, it doesn't get too cold in here. I mean, with the space heater down there, um, and then I got a bunch of these little furnace things uh, down there. It really doesn't get too cold. And then in the summer, guess what? When it gets warm, I have air conditioning. These little bad boys right here. I have about like six of them or seven of them. Um, yeah, and then this is my couch right here. My awesome couch, it also folds down into a bed. So, you know, if I'm feeling too lazy to get on my bed and I just wanna lay on the couch and watch TV, I can do that. So yeah, I would do that. Um, here's the lovely dining room table. It's funny, actually one time, okay, this is actually a small table, but believe it or not, I had like six or seven guys around this table one time, my teammates, and we were playing Settlers of Catan. It was the craziest thing, and I think we might have broke the table. Don't tell my parents, because <laughs> I don't own this trailer. Um, but yeah, there was like seven or eight of us like sitting around this table. We had Catan set up all right here, and I didn't win, but it was, my, it was like my third time playing. But yeah, we had a bunch of guys around. It was fun, had a great time. So this is a nice little family style table in here. Um, got the nice mirror right there. See how I'm looking in the morning, you know? Anyways, so we're continuing on down the hallway. As you can see, it's pretty long, right? I think it's about like 30, 20, 20 to 30 feet long. So, I mean, as you can see, that's, I mean, my bed's there. Right there is the sink, all the good stuff. Table where I eat breakfast. Then we got the refrigerator freezer, my food cabinets, and then there's another door right there. I don't really use this door. Um, what I used, let me turn on this light over here. What used to be right over here, um, because I had a lot of clothes, and we'll get to the clothes stuff, but I used to have like a, kind of like a clothes rack, and it kind of was hanging like, it went from like there 
all the way to over here. So it was like diagonal and it's kind of sticking out, but it was like perfect enough to where the bathroom door could still like open up. So in the bathroom, as you can see, it's right here. Bathroom opens up. There's my bathroom. Haven't really been in here a lot. There is a shower, but I'm not a big fan of showering in the trailer. I mean, it's just I can go inside and get really good water pressure. I mean, the water pressure is all right, but that's the other thing. The, the warm water is off of like the propane tank that's outside. So I don't really, I have like one and a half minutes of warm water. So you can imagine that'd be the worst shower ever, like taking a one and a half minute shower with warm water and then boom, you hit, get hit with the freezing cold water. So yeah, that's the, the good stuff there where I keep all my other stuff. Obviously there's nothing in there. The good old toilet. No one wants to see that. Um, yeah, that's just like, this is where I've been living, everyone. It's just been a, an amazing experience to live in a trailer. Um, and just, I don't know. Like I said, it just feels like it's my own like extended like room. Like I feel like I should be on MTV Cribs for having, you know, the coolest college like living situation. Um, even though it's not a show anymore, but yeah, it's been like super awesome to like live in a trailer. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing this as much as I did living in it. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, I think that's about everything in here that I had to show.